Hello everyone, uh, it's Karen here. Today I'm going over another vinyl update. This will be my third vinyl update. And this is just stuff I've got, uh, you know, in the last uh, f two months, including some stuff which I forgot to show in my previous vinyl update, but they'll be shown here. So I've got over some books, some CDs, 170 singles, and some albums. So I've got a lot to get through in this um, video. So this is a book that I've shown my Beatles books collection. I had it for my last vinyl update, forgot to show it, but I'm going to show it anyway again. The Complete Beatles Chronicle by Mark Lewison. Of course, you know, Mark Lewison's, I think, working on a... Mark Lewison's done a, the first of a three-part Beatles book, so he's going to be doing another one, hopefully, soon. I think 2020 said he'd be doing it. But this came out in 1995, 1992. This is the 1995 edition. And it pretty much has all the day-by-day -day accounts of the Beatles from 57 to 70. So, even their, like, their concert performances, their uh, studio sessions television appearances, radio appearances, stuff like that. So, um, and even their radio interviews too. So, uh, yeah, recommended recommend that one. I went to a market, but uh, went to that market. I go on a on a Saturday sometimes. And I got these two books: the Beatles album and the Beatles. I showed these in my um, Beatles uh, book video. So, if you want to see more on the, if you want to see more more detail on that, do uh, go to it. These are both from 1991. Got these for five pound, so uh, I can't remember how much the Beatles Chronicle one was, but um, yeah, that's two books. I won't go into too much detail of them because I did show the top button in the video. Um, I've got uh, f a few CDs, about two CDs that I got about two months ago. They're both Roy Orbison's. I have Roy Orbison the Hits and Roy Orbison the Hits Three. These two are part of a three album series. I've, I'm, I'm still trying to find the Hits Two, and then I'm complete. This is the Hits 1, 1990, on Pickwick, and same thing with the Hits 3, so yeah, I'll hopefully get uh, the Hits 2 and then the, it'll be complete. So, um, of all, the one 7 inch single I got um, was from a shop in Kilmarnock was uh, You Bet You Bet by The Who. And uh, a quiet one, both from the Face Dances LP on Polydor, original. And then I've got a few albums there which I'll talk about when we get to them. Uh, I've got a CD single, Roy Orbison with KD Lying, Crying, uh, with Falling, Pretty Woman, and She's a Mystery to Me. This is 1992. Then, this, these two are from the from the market. Uh, Paul is live. Paul McCartney, 1993. Different performances with 1993 tour. So it's a. Uh, let's have that. So it's Paul is live. We have Who's Last. I've got this on vinyl. I thought I get the CD, but this is the Who's uh, live album of their 1982 tour. And this is MCA. And I got this at the same day. I got the Robes and Hits three. Uh, the best of the Everly Brothers, 1957 to 1960. So this is all their cadence songs. I think I may do my uh, An Everly Brothers Vinyl Collection video. Now I'm going over the albums. I got this at the same day as the Paul's Live CD. Johnny Cash, The Rough Cut of King Country Music. This is a console record. Um, quite a nice cover, that's why I got it. It was £5. Pound. I thought I'd get it, it's got quite a nice cover, £5. Pound. Uh, it's just Sun Records material, so... Um, it's from 72, I think. I think I did a little bit of research and found out it was 72. It's on Contour. Modern electronic music process, as many of these Johnny Cash records I have are, but uh, it's contour. So there's that. And I went to the shop in the Kilmarnock and I got um, these four, along with the You Bet You Bet single. I got these four. Uh, the Complete Silver Beatles. Uh, plastic series with split in this one. Those, of course, now the Beatles made audition and did an audition for Decca Records. They didn't pass it, but uh, the Beatles, Silver Beatles, didn't make any. They were called the Silver Silver Beatles before calling themselves the Beatles, as they were called the Beatles, I think. But um, um, they didn't make any recordings with the Silver Beatles, and but they did do an audition with Decca. However, they were they 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 um, didn't pass the audition. But uh, this is the pretty much Decca auditions, except for the three songs, because you know for legal reasons. It's on AFE Records, this is 1982. The record's in quite nice condition. So yeah, 
can't remember how much any of these were, really. Oops, uh, a bit of trouble sliding this back in. But we've got it in now. So yeah, got quite a nice cover design. I'll just put the vials to there. Next we have the Electric Light Orchestra, El Dorado. This is 1974. Re-release from Jet Records in from America. I haven't heard this album, but I do like the song Can't Get Can't Get It Out of My Head. Um, so yeah, it's a cool one. Uh, um, it's a US press, but it was it was cheap really, so I bought it. It's on Jet Records instead of Warner Brothers, so it's a re-release. But it's it was in good enough condition. Doesn't really back me back too much. Got the lyrics on the other side. Picture the band. But yeah, recently in the news, these shoes are from the Wizard of Oz film, and they were found in New York. They've been stolen. Uh, about 2005 and they were found so kind of cool to show that one really two Elton Johns from the shop the very best of Elton John this is a 1980 record on KTEL um, quite like the cover I don't, I don't think I've seen this before in in shops I think I've seen the picture before somewhere but I've never seen the record when being out and about so I bought this one because it was quite interesting there's the songs so yeah, pretty much a lot of his album track big hits as well as some a couple of album tracks like Harmony and High Flying Bird. But it's missing I don't know why I don't know why Crocodile Rock's not on here. And I really like that song. But uh, don't know why. But uh anyway, it's still nice to have on KTEL. The very best of Elton John. This came out in 1980. So yeah. Yeah, it's got quite a nice uh, picture to it, the front. Another Elton John one is the al is an album, Red Strikes Back, 1988. I only really know the song, I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That, but uh, hopefully I'll hear it soon. It's a nice big all Elton's costumes through the years. Get forward with lyrics. In a sleeve. And the uh, people who contributed to the album, it's on this label. For some reason, in size one, it's got two of the same labels stuck on. Don't know why. But side two is just normal, really. It's on Rocket Record Company, as usual, because Elton was on the Rocket Record label since 76. It's got the hype sticker there. And I've got an online purchase Jean Michel Jarre's Revolutions from 1988. This is uh, oh, quite a nice song actually, because I heard some of the songs in the Jar Live album, the Destination Docklands concert, which is really cool, you know, I quite like the Destination Docklands, you know, concerts, video and album, really, so it's uh, cool to really have, really, I quite like, uh, it's one of my Jean-Michel Jarre collection, really, <laughs> I'm kind of all over the place, I'm kind of lost for words, really, but the inner sleeve, it's just plain black, quite nice, and we're on Dreyfus with Polydor. Yeah, another one to the Jean Michel Jarre collection. This is Revolutions from 1988. I've got two ones from the market a few weeks later Johnny Cash, Old Golden Throat. This is songs that, uh, that are single tracks from Columbia. This is a mono. It was only ever put out in mono. It's, it was, I think, only a UK release. The liner notes, the songs, and the recording dates. Um, I like I Got Stripes, um, Tennessee Flat Top Box, uh, Doctor's Dungeon, Still in Town. Um, so, yeah, quite a few cool and interesting ones there. On CBS, this came out in 1968, I think. Yeah, it must be 68, 67, different one of those dates. I wish got a nice textured label around the rim there. CBS, UK Press. Got the CBS in a sleeve. Which I'm sorry. So yeah, nice to have. And we have um, Sladest. I like Slade, the glam rock band. Hope I might get more of their albums. 
maybe this will do at the moment until I decide to get their albums. But uh, they're a good glam rock band. I do quite like Slade. So yeah, it's got a book. This is 1973. This record came out. Book, picture of the band. There's Noddy Holder there. Don't know the, the band's other names, but uh, hopefully I'll uh, learn them. And we're on Polydor in stereo. Funny thing is with this one, this is a thicker record, whereas Polydor tend to do a lot more flimsier records. So yeah, cool to have. My first Slade record. I do quite like that. I've got their greatest hit CD. I might get some more Slade vinyls, really. We have Bob Dylan, Highway 61 Revisited. This is a 2015 reissue on Columbia. Um, finding an original press of it is not that easy. But So I've just set with a reissue, which is good enough for me. I love the song Like a Rolling Stone. That's probably my favourite. And I really like um, Tombstone Blues and Queen Jane. So yeah, pretty good album there. It's got a good cover too. It's uh, the mono version, which is a bonus. And we're on Columbia with Sony Music. It's in really nice condition, really nice copy. I really like the design of the label. It's the mono version. This next one is another online purchase. This one my parents got me when they were in France. I didn't go. Um, That's why I was at my grandparents a couple of weeks ago. Um, because they were away and they got me this. I can't remember where they got it, but they got, me, got it at a shop called Big Star Records, I think. Yeah, so. Uh, Thanks mum and dad for that. And this is the online purchase, the last record of the video, Michael Jackson Dangerous. I showed the CD of the Michael, the Michael Jackson collection um, box set. Um, and I've got the vinyl. Uh, it's not that easy to find. It came out in 1991. So obviously finding an original is not going to be that easy. But I managed to find it on eBay shortly after making that Michael Jackson CD box set video. It's a Netherlands pressing. There's one in a sleeve with the lyrics. And we're on Epic Records. Bit dusty, it'll get a bit of clean. The second record's the same. So that's it for this final update. I hope you liked it. Um, hopefully the Beatles solo books will be coming up um, pretty soon. And, um, um, hope, and on Friday, of course, the Tom Petty and Heartbreakers American Treasure set comes out and there will be an unboxing of that um, on the day it's out. Um, if I don't get it on the day it's out, then I'll ho hopefully be in it within a few days. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.